basketball all here on ABC4. Four good basketball going on. The UMass Minutemen were trying to keep their home undefeated streak alive against the South. The Minutemen were also trying to keep pace with the, be or the best and the rest of the Atlantic 10. So could they do it at home? They would certainly get a lot of help from the fans, but they would need a little bit more than uh, enthusiasm from the student section to take this one. In the second half here, it's Chaz Williams to Jesse Morgan in the lane. And that's good, 57-49. LaSalle would be up at that point. A couple plays later, off of a Morgan drive, Maxi Isho gets the hit, or the, the miss, excuse me, puts it back in and hits the uh, shot there. He hits a free throw, but UMass would struggle at the free throw line. Then with four minutes to go, Chaz Williams drives to the lane, doing what he does best, gets two of his 11 points. But LaSalle would come back. Ramon Galloway, nice pick, and the roll hits the big man. And Jarrell Wright puts it in for an easy two. 13 seconds left, though. UMass up two. Esho hits this free throw to get within one point, but the Minutemen would need to foul, and they eventually do here on the sidelines with 10 seconds to go. So UMass down one, and Tyreek Duran hits the free throw there, the second free throw, misses the first, and then Chaz Williams down three, 10 seconds left, three seconds to go. He puts up a shot, can't get it. Sean Carter taps it out, and Terrell Vinson. Uh-oh, is that a tie ball game? No, it's, no, it's not. Terrell Vinson hit a two. His foot was on the line. They would review the play. UMass would go on to, win, to lose this one, 72 to 71. It's three Springfield sports. Sports are often considered games of inches, where even the slightest movement can change the outcome of a game, and that proved to be true tonight in Amherst. UMass hosting LaSalle in a very important game for conference standings, and Raphael Putney came out firing. He scored 11 of UMass's first 13 points, the Minutemen led by 10 early on. But Earl Pettis of LaSalle was up to the task as well. Four three-pointers in less than three minutes of game action tied the game up halfway through the first. UMass got big-time production out of its bench, including Maxi Escho, who went up high to throw this one down, tie game at the break. Second half was back and forth. UMass out in front to start. Freddie Riley finishes the playoff with a dunk. Minutemen up by three. But then UMass goes cold while LaSalle heats up. A 19-7 run by the Explorers, capped off by a Ramon Galloway three. UMass down nine. But another spirited comeback by the Minutemen down the stretch. Chaz Williams lays it in for two and we're going to stay with him on the play as he gets his hand in there for the steal. Putney comes up with it and hits Esho underneath for the hoop plus the, the bucket and the foul. UMass takes the lead with under four to play. Under a minute left now and Tyreek Duran comes up with the big shot for LaSalle. He hits the fadeaway jumper to put the Explorers up two. UMass down three, 10 seconds left, last chance. Chaz misses the three, but the ball goes to Terrell Vinson, who sinks the long shot at the buzzer. The Mullen Center erupts, but hang on a second. The refs review it. Vinson's toe was on the line, so it's only a two, not three, and UMass loses by a single point. It looked like a, a two from, uh, from my perspective, and I guess when the referees went over and re-looked at it through the monitors, they uh, confirmed that it was a two-point shot. It was tough. I thought it was behind the three-point line, but I guess the reviews showed that I wasn't. So uh, I don't know. I wish I had an uh, extra step or two behind the three-point line. You know, it hurts. You know, it hurts. It hurts us and it hurts our fans. And, uh, you know, we just want to apologize for our fans that came out tonight, you know, gave us great energy, and uh, sorry we couldn't get the win. By the way, that was the Minutemen's first loss at home this season.